quite often coordinate geometry questions will finish by getting you to find an area of a section or a length between uh, points of intersection. So let's look at lengths to start with. Let's say I've got a point P with coordinates x1, y1 and a point Q with coordinates x2, y2. Then to find the distance between P and Q, which we might denote as D, um, we're going to draw a nice little right angled triangle where this side is going to be y1 minus y2 in length and this side here would be x2 minus x1 in length. Now to find that distance d what I'm going to need to do is x2 minus x1 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared and then square root my answer. Now, because I'm squaring these values, it actually doesn't matter which order I put them in. So sometimes it is more typical to see this as x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared and then square rooted. If you're not happy with that at the moment, just try it for a couple of points and you'll soon get the hang of it. The other thing to say is that often we talk about these things with vectors. So we might be talking about a vector that goes from P to Q. If we're asked to find the distance between points P and Q, we would indicate that as the magnitude with these two vertical lines, and that would mean finding the distance between points P and Q, which again would be x1 minus x2 all squared plus y1 minus y2 all squared and then square rooted. So we're going to do that now, find the distance between these two points. Very straightforward, so distance D is going to be 5 minus 1 squared plus 6 minus 4 squared square rooted which is going to give me 4 squared plus 2 squared 4 squared is 16 2 squared is 4 so that is the square root of 20 now remember you're always going to have to simplify these so we can simplify the third 20 into 2 lots of root 5 and I would then say 2 lots of root 5 units for my length because I haven't been told what the units are I can just state that they are going to be units rather than units squared or units cubed. In this example we've got two lines L1 and L2 that intersect at a point P. Now where we're told that lines intersect that means that we're going to have to solve a simultaneous equation so let's start off by doing that to find the point P. Now easily I can add L1 and L2 together and in doing so I'm going to get 5x plus 10 is equal to 0 so that's going to tell me that x is equal to minus 10 over 5 um, so x is equal to minus 2. Now if I substitute that back into L2 and I evaluate that at x is equal to negative 2 then that's going to give me 3 lots of minus 2 minus y equals 0 so that would be minus 6 is equal to y so there I've generated my coordinate pair so the point P is at x coordinate negative 2 y coordinate negative 6 the point Q is where L1 meets the y-axis well if I'm thinking about my y-axis that's code for x being 0. So let's do that in L1 and evaluate that at where x equals 0. That would be to say that y plus 10 is equal to 0 or y is equal to negative 10. So now I've got the coordinates of point Q which is going to be 0 in my x and minus 10 in my y. I'm wanting to find the area of triangle OPQ. Now O we haven't been um, given as a point um, but our assumption here is that O means the origin. So let's think about what this might look like as a little sketch. So here's a little coordinate system. I've got the origin here at O. I've got my point Q which was at 0, negative 10. So that's down here, Q. I've got my point P which was at negative 2, negative 6. So negative 2, negative 6, let's say that's point here which is P and I want to look at the triangle that's formed there between O, P and Q. Well I can actually draw on the lines um, L1 so L1 is the line that goes through P and Q so it looks something like this and L2 is the line that goes through P and the origin 
so it looks something like that. I want to find the area of the triangle that's created just in here. Well, how do I do that? Base times height divided by 2. The base, well, we know that Q was at the point negative 10, so the distance there is going to be 10. The height, well, that's the distance across from the y-axis, and this was at negative 2, so here that should be a distance 2. So the area of triangle, area of triangle OPQ is going to be equal to a half of 10 times 2, which I would declare to be 10. Now in this case, it's going to be units squared. Again, I don't know what the units are, but I know that we would be dealing with square units because we've got an area. Always when we're in these area questions, we're looking to use the uh, coordinates that we've been given and then try and resolve to get two uh, lengths that are perpendicular to each other. So that's usually one that is going to be in our y direction and one that's going to be in our x direction.